My house is getting seriously, seriously out of control. Look at this. I start on one project, and I'm not finished with this yet. I've got this side. I've got this side. I got the top. I have to do the side. But I got to show you what's in this in the drawer here in front. Look at this mess. Oh my goodness! What has happened? How does it get like this? At any rate, oh, all the birds are gone. I wanted to show you all the birds. They were here just a second ago. Maybe I scared them away with the light. But the birds fly in and the birds fly out, and that's my little garden in the back. The irises are amazing when they come up in the in the springtime. This is a little chandelier that I found. So what I did is that I put little, I found little little vintage teacups, and I and I um. I hung them on here, and uh, so I wanted to show you some of the extracurricular things that I've been doing. This was a wild idea that I was into at one point. I was printing on material and made a scarf, and that's a picture of me. I did a, I did all that in Photoshop, and it's it's a, a thing where you print on the paper. And then you, and then you iron it on. I, you know, it's been so long since I've done this, I forgot how I how I did it. To tell you the truth, and then I put some fringe on the ends. But I'm always experimenting with new things. I'm going to move on over here to some of these things. This has always been very hard for me to photograph. This is. Let's see if I can get plenty of light here. I always have a hard time photographing this. It's just a piece of cardboard that I've glued some things on. You can see how thin it is. On the back, I put some red velvet. There's my name in gold. And some lace on the top. And I've got a nice grungy chain. And this right here is a little piece of wood uh, application or applique that I got at Michael's. And after I got it, I glued it on here and you put on something called liquid rust. Then no, liquid iron from a bottle and and then and then liquid rust. And then I glued on these two things. These two things, little pieces, little hearts. And then I glued on the image I found on the internet. It's two people in love. L O V E. And I glued it on and I, I put inks behind it. And I, and I put paint, and I embellished this with um, some river rock, and this down here is a little piece of, of glass, as you can see. And I glued an image on here with a piece of antique jewelry, and some rhinestones, and some flowers. Much it glue. It says here, uh, it's a, it's a quote from Across the Universe by John Lennon. Limitless, undying love, which shines around me like a million suns, calls me on and on across the universe. And then you hang that on your wall. It's a lovely piece of vintage material that somebody took all the time. To embroider, to embroider that, it's gorgeous. I love. I have. I am really a sucker for, for vintage lim, linens. If you have some, send them to me. Yay! Here's another one. A little wall hanging. A little grungy wall hanging. It took no artistic ability to do this. It's on a piece of tile, very heavy, like the tile for your, whatever your tile. You know what tile is. And then I did the same thing. I got the the wood from Michaels in the wood section, and I put that stuff on a cut liquid iron. Then you put on the liquid rust, and it makes it rusty. And then I put some glitter on it. Glued the image on with another one of my favorite sayings: "This garden universe vibrates complete." And that's from a Moody Blues song. And I did that on the other side with some glitter and jewelry, put some 
Mod Podge on top of it to give it a shine. And again here, here's another piece of like glass. I put an image on. Sticking away from the... I don't know what that thing is that I put there to, to make it stand out. Just something. You make it work. Here's some beach glass there that I put some uh, copper foiling around. And, and uh, another grungy chain on the top. See the grungy chain that I hooked on some other little goodies. And as it hangs, it ha it's hanging, and it, uh, as it hangs on the wall, you get this doodad here. It's a little heart. No, it's key. And then on this side, on a, on a grungy chain, hanging from it, there's a little a little heart and then a little a little key or something. So that what did, what did that take? You just paste and glue and and everything. Here's some uh, if you want to learn how to knit or crochet, I could show you how to do that. There's some crochet that I crocheted some beads in and then knitted this. It's a little it's a little pocket book, little thingy, little pocket book. Very, very feminine. It's very feminine, darling. And then I put a little seashell for a to close it up. See? Let's see if the birds are here yet. No birds. Okay, here's some jewelry. This is a piece of started out as a piece of, of female clay. Or, or any kind of, I don't know what kind of clay. What's, what kind of clay do they have in the stores? All that clay. And I just made uh, uh, images like little leaves. And I kind of made a flat surface. And um, you cooked it. I cooked it. And on the back I put some lace and I put like a hook for a brooch. This is a piece of antique jewelry that I found. And I glued it on there. Glue, glue, glue with that 6,000 glue. Another piece of jewelry. This is some peyote beads. I was learning how to to bead, but I never really finished anything. But here's a little piece. And I glued that on with a little chain. Just glue, glue, glue. And there's your little, there's your brooch. There's thine own brooch. Okay, and another one, I just found a piece of jewelry, a backing. I glued an old earring onto it and some ch put some chains on it. That wasn't hard. I glued a, a leaf and a little doodad. That's another little brooch. This I had fun with. This was a belt buckle that I glued that onto. And this right here is hard to see. It's a vintage image that I got in the, on the internet. There are like three like um, Mediterranean women. I want to glue little goo doodads on here and you could have a chain and like hang it up or use that as a brooch. Here's another one. I like this one. It's a, it's an image of a girl and she's looking up like like I can't believe he's gone. So I put gone. Did you ever fall in love with somebody and you thought they were in love with you? And they just disappeared? It's your first unrequited love? Gone. Look at her face. I wish I could get a real good close-up of that. But, but I, my camera just doesn't... Oh, there we go. That's not that good. But there you go. So sad. I had a sad, a sad romance. But now I'm happy. Okay. This was a really, really easy, easy, fun thing to do. In here, it's, it's one of those pieces of like clear glass. You see them all over the place. Those glass stones that are clear. And I embellished it with all the clay and baked it. 
and then I put the picture on the back, kind of glued that on. Let me see if we can get in here. There's a little vintage image of a little vintage girl. I have she's dead, probably dead right now. And then I I hooked it onto some ribbon and I used it as a choker. Oh, I wish my camera had better better focus. Very vintagey. I love vintage old things. I'm vintage and I'm old. I have a, sometimes when I get some china and it's chipped, I break it. And I just outlined it with some gold paint, that gold glitter paint. And then put a little hook on the back of it. And voila, it's a, it's a, uh, it's just a little piece of china that you can, that you can put on a blouse. Hmm, that's some of the things. You can buy blanks at Michael's for rings. And, uh, I glued this on it. Bam. I found some more blanks and glued that on it. Bam. So you can have lovely, hang on a second. I'll put all my rings on. You can call me Ringo. Oh, there they are. All blanks. And you can be a very glamorous lady now. I'm a fancy lady. I'm a fancy, fancy lady.